Hello everyone and welcome back. Uh, this lab 4 is an updated lab. Uh, the reason for this update is to cover the comments that I received from some of the viewers and at the same time to update the version in a way that to use the latest solid edge version version 2024 since the menu has been changed to be vertical instead of horizontal and I hope that does not confuse some of the uh, viewers okay in this lab what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to draw this shape as you can see here but to accomplish this shape you look carefully that it has some kind of a symmetric uh, shape and it has like five sides so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna concentrate on the front plane uh, projection and draw only one side and then use copy and rotate and paste okay so we copy one of the, the, the sides and then uh, uh, paste and rotate and so on so i can accomplish this shape and then do what do the extrusion so without a further ado let's go to solid edge and i am in solid edge so what i'm going to do is just i'm going to open a new uh, go to new and again uh, then go to what NC metric since the dimensions are in millimeter so I'm gonna highlight this one and say okay and this will open a new page in solid edge to start the drawing as you can see that I'm going to start with uh, drawing the circle that is a center line for all the five holes here and then build these uh, two circle the circle here the other hole and uh, around it and then try to finish one fifth of the drawing okay so let's go back again to the part okay the before I do anything I'm going to select, as you can see, there is nothing there here. So what I'm going to th select, what one of the drawing tool. Why I need to do that? Because once I select the one of the drawing tool, in the area here, in the center here, you will see the projection planes. And I would like to lock myself to the front plane, as you can see from the drawing, that... I'm going to concentrate on drawing this shape here or this sketch so I can do extrusion and finish with it until this is in my case I'm going to use the, the front plane to make it this is my my uh, sketch so let's go there and I'm going to say okay once I'm going to select one of the drawing tool I'm going to start with the circle by center once you click on one of the drawing tool this will highlight the projection plane see here there is no projection plane right now but once i click on circle by center click now what you see now you see the projection plane so before i do anything let me move the from the other screen okay here is the menu as you can see the menu are vertical before you put any dimensions here First, I'm going to lock myself to the front plane. So once you move your mouse and touch one of the lines of the in the front plane. So this is front plane. This is the top plane. And this is the right side plane. So I'm going to go to the front plane. Touch one of the lines. And then click on what? On the F3. The lock. Once you click on the lock, you will see that the lock was the was displayed in the upper right corner this means i'm locked to the front plane so now i go to the cube and click on the front now i'm in the front plane now i start putting the dimension so now the diameter is what 128 and i'm gonna put it exactly in the center of the of the page okay so now it is in the center. I need to lock this button, but let me reduce it a little bit using the roller mouse. 
uh, the roller in the mouth. So now with this smart dimension, and this dimension should be 128. Let me see. It is 128. Okay. Now along this circle here, this is going to be like a center line for all the five holes. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click a circle by center again. And the holes are 20 millimeters. So I'm going to put 20. And I'm going to put it anywhere I want and on the line, on the circle here. So on the line here, once I see the intersection, I'm going to click. Okay, so now I would, now let's put the dimension. To lock the dimension. So this is, should be 20. It is 20. Okay. Very good. Now I'm going to draw, draw uh, a line from the center here. And this should go to highlight the circle so I can look, uh, uh, reveal the center. So I'm going to see the concentric. I'm going to click. So now I draw a line from the center to the center here. Okay. Right. Escape or right click to get out. Okay. Now I'm going to use the angle between. So I'm going to measure the angle between this line and the vertical axis. And now one fifth of the angle so it's going to be 360 divided by 5 is going to be 72 and half of that is going to be 36 so i'm going to click here and have this uh, angle to be 36. okay before i forget let's put the other the circle here if you look carefully it has a radius 20 means that the diameter here is 40. Go to the part and circle by center again, and here is going to be 40. Go back, touch the circle so I can reveal the center, and when I see the, the, the center of the circle, I'm going to click. Okay, now they are concentric, but to be sure, so I'm going to use the relationship. You see this under relate. I'm going to click on concentric and I say, okay, this new circle, the bigger one, is concentric with the smaller one. Okay, click here and then the symbol for concentric was revealed. Okay, now we will draw one side, so I need to draw the other side of this drawing. So, what I'm going to do, just I'm going to uh, make a mirror of these two circles around the Z axis. So when you click on the Z axis, you got the other two circles. Okay, it is by mirror. Okay, so the dimension should be exactly the same 36. So 36 plus another 36 is going to be 72, which is one fifth of the 360 of the total degrees. Okay. Okay, so now, now the next step is I need to draw the tangent arc here for both circles. The way to do the tangent arc, I'm going to just show you. Okay, I need this tangent here. The radius is 50, so the diameter is 100. And it has to be tangent to both circles. So what I'm going to do, how to even do that, is mainly is I'm going to choose under under the, under the circles, I'm going to expand the direction of the, 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 the choices. So I'm going to use what circle tangent circle tangent circle. Click on tangent circle and put the diameter is 100. And then touch one of the circle here. This will create the circle, so I'm going to go slowly till I touch the other circle. When I see a tangent, I'm going to click. Now, I succeeded to have the circle tangent to both two circles here. How I know? Because I see this circle here and another circle here. Now, since I'm locked to the front plane, I can use the trim. So I'm going to click on the trim and just move the mouse across the circle 
So it's gonna delete extra things from the circle. Okay, now I created one fifth of the pattern, so of the sketch. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use what one of the viewers suggested from me. Why I'm not using copy and rot rotate and paste? Okay, so I'm gonna say uh, rotate. So I'm gonna click on the rotate, and I'm highlight. I'm gonna leave copy on. So this means when I rotate and click. I will print a copy of this of the whatever I'm rotating. I'm gonna do okay. Rotate. Okay, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna highlight this shape here. I forgot to highlight that. So, and then I'm gonna say the steps is how much? Seventy-two. And then I'm gonna go to the position. So I'm gonna start the position of the rotation. It's gonna be in this location here. I'm gonna click here. And then this is the arm of rotation. So I'm gonna click here and go to the, the other center of the small circle. So I created that. So now I can move, move. Okay, you move along the circle. This circle, because this is my circle of rotation. So I'm gonna I move around around the circle. Once I come closer to the other side, means the, the 72 degrees, I'm going to click because it will create the pattern. So now I have more first step. So I move beside the circle, so I'm going to create the second pattern. I'm going to click, and then I move again. I get the third pattern, click, and then move also here. Okay. Click this one, so I get the fourth, the, the fourth letter. Okay, so I got all the better. So now I'm gonna say escape. The first thing I need to start cleaning. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna highlight the line first. The line I just drew to use it as the arm of rotation. So I'm gonna, you know, I don't need this. The, the, this will delete the the angle. So I highlighted the line. So I'm gonna delete the line. Okay, good. And then the uh, second thing, I need to delete the circle. I don't need the circle anymore. Okay, good. Then I'm gonna use the trim. Again, I'm locked to the front plane. And I'm use the trim, so I'm gonna go by the mouse over these inside circles, so I can delete the extra curvature. As you can see, we will disappear. Very good. I got the shape I want. I'm looking for in a very efficient and clean way. Okay. The next step is I need to go to the center here and draw a circle of the radius 32 means the diameter is 64 and the other diameter is 50 and then create just one tooth. I'm going to create one tooth. Okay. And the tooth is 12 and the distance here is uh, different between the 32 and the 25, which is seven. So if I'm gonna use, if I use a rectangle by center, then I have to make it what? The width is 12, and the height should be twice the seven, so it's gonna be, it has to be more than 14. So what I'm gonna do, to be in the same side, I'm gonna use either 20 or 25, that's up to you. So 12 by 20, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to the part again, so I need circle by center, and the first circle is, the diameter is 64, enter, and I have to put it inside the center here, I'm going to click, and another one is 50. And I'm going to put it also in the center here. Okay, now we know that this the the, the 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 tooth to create the tooth, I need to to draw a, a rectangle by center, and this rectangle by center will be the width says twelve rectangle by center. Okay, so I'm gonna put the width is twelve, and the height I'm gonna say what. The seven multiplied by two is fourteen, so it has to be more than fourteen. So I'm going to use twenty. Hint. I'm going to come to the center here, 
and start moving vertical align with the z axis how can i know that is aligned with the z axis when i see the dashed red line and when i see the intersection i'm gonna click okay now i'm gonna zoom just to to help me to get the the trim much better okay that's good okay so let me move this one up a little bit okay so i'm gonna use the trim again and move over this part here so anything i'm gonna touch it gonna be disappeared the same thing i'm gonna go here so it disappear so i need to get rid of this one and i need to get rid of this extra circle here so now i have one tooth so and uh, so i will succeed to create one tooth and then i'm going to use the circular pattern to finish the rest of it okay i'm going to zoom back to go to home so i am at home now i need to what i'm going to do is i'm going to do the the solid model the theory matrix tool so i'm going to click on select and when you use select just you click at any point inside the shape so click here it will create the menu so i need it symmetric or non-symmetric it doesn't matter here in this case so if you want to have it symmetric need both sides it's up to you if you don't need a symmetric you just need to turn it off and then it's going to be in one direction either right or to the left so okay so it doesn't matter so i'm going to make it symmetric that's fine and then i'm going to use what 25 i'm going to say 25 very good so i succeeded to draw the pattern and so on. okay so now what i'm going to do is what we're going to do is just i need to create the two the teeth around the central circle to create the teeth around the circular center uh, circular cent, uh, circle what i'm going to do just i'm going to go to the front plane and then highlight this one tooth okay so i'm going to highlight select and I'm gonna highlight this one, this tooth, okay. Once it is highlighted, I can go to the pattern, under pattern, I'm gonna expand, get circular pattern, click on it, and then come slowly and touch the, the central circle. When, let me do it again. So when you touch the central circle, wait till it become concentric. Once it is concentric, you click. Okay, when you click, it say that how many counts? I need eight, so this is eight, so I'm gonna say enter. If you want a different number, you can change the number, the count number, and after that, you can say accept. If, if you need six, you can put six, you can, whatever you wanna, you wanna change, and then you say accept. Once you say accept, this will create the pattern, the circular pattern in the center circle, and it is eight. Okay, eight teeth, okay. And this will end the video for this uh, session. And uh, first, I would like to thank you for watching the video. And I would love to hear your feedback. And if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and give it a thumb up. Have a, have a, have a wonderful day, and see you soon on another video. Bye-bye.